Well, it's the last day on this house. Got almost everything completely done. <laughs> How have we done for solar? It's pretty early in the morning. Well, not early. Nine o'clock or whatever still. We are making almost 300 watts. We're sitting at almost full charge. Everything's working really good. I'll show you guys the front of the house. Got a little roof on there. There's gonna be a port patio, I believe, on the side there. Just all getting siding or board and batten or something like that. Just needs to be finished being taped. I can't do it until it's scaffold. I don't like doing it from a ladder if I don't have to. Yeah, it's the house. She's done. It's the back. We got a nice walk out there. There's gonna be a nice railing around. Just a uh, little bit of the framing I do here and there. Well, not here and there. I do this every day, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, so this system. <laughs> this thing is taking uh, 50 amps, which is crazy. So that means it's pulling about a thousand watts from here. So, now that's actually a little more than I thought it would be taking. So we are pushing the limits. The only thing warm on this entire setup is this fuse holder. The 60 amp fuse holder is a little warm. So I am going to be watching this. BMS is cold. So, anyways. I'll see as we go. There we go. So, still running. The fans just turned on uh, this unit. And these wires are fine. The only thing that is really, really hot is the 60 amp fuse. Like, you can't even touch it. It's very hot. So, I'm going to be replacing that with a bigger fuse, probably 80 amp, like the wires are fine, everything's fine, it's just this fuse, it's really hot. The BMS is a little warm, so we are at the upper limits of this BMS, but this is now taking 52 and a half amps because the voltage is going down, so the amperage have to go up to compensate, 22.7 volts fans are on. It is 5.59, so we've only been running for 15 minutes. We're going to see how long this goes and see what voltage does this shut down at. I'm hoping it shuts down at like around 20-ish, 19 or 20 volts. If not, the BMS will cut it out. It's just very impressive that this little setup can run a 12,000 BTU air conditioner. It's just it's awesome. So, fuse ended up blowing. I don't have any extras. I just ordered a new one. Oh, little guy flipped over and he's not happy. And uh, so I, I got two 80 amps coming in the mail. Should be here in a couple days, but until then, I shoved the penny in there. I'll get me by. The BMS acts as a fuse as well. The MOSFETs will blow, so that's all right. Still fairly safe. And let's see if we can... Uh, Start this thing again at 23.4 volts. Just turned on. See voltage. One thing I, I noticed with the, some of these inverters, or most of these inverters, depends on what you plug into them, the output actually goes up in voltage. There's certain electronics, like the Walt chargers is one of them. When you have a bunch of DeWalt chargers, this could be sitting at 120 volts. You plug it the Walt chargers in, and it just shoots up to about 129 volts. So there's some switching there that uh, that fools the circuitry in here and actually boosts the voltage. I don't think we have any uh, compressor starting yet. We're still at 23.4 volts. You can see the red light that's inside the unit. We've got our penny there see when this thing will actually turn on. I 
turn it down to 65, that'll make it turn on. It's got a timer built inside. It knows when it's uh, been ab abruptly turned off. So, let's see how long it takes. Still not on. I'll get back to you once this turns on. Alright, so the AC pump finally turned on, sagged again, voltage. We're sitting at 70 there. She turned on. And I'm gonna watch that penny and see if it gets warm or what. Let's see right there. And yeah, everything's working nicely. Passing the little one off. Awesome. I like this inverter. It's working pretty good. It's too bad it had that voltage issue for uh, uh, Jeff. Jeff there. It's not warm. Not yet, anyways. It's awesome. I'll show you guys the BMS that's in here. BMS that we have here. Just gonna take it out of the packaging here. Go here, my little guys busting in the background. That is the BMS we are using right there. So, anyways, thanks for watching. So it's been an hour. A little over an hour, but I had to put a replacement fuse. The fuse is not getting near as hot as it did before. Actually, even the whole fuse holder, nothing's getting very hot at all. Working amazing. Batteries are not warm whatsoever. Cable is not warm. We're good. It's just chucking along nicely. Everything's working great. I'd like to thank uh, Jeff. A lot for sending me this it's working great with this system and uh, I'm gonna put a link in uh, Jeff's YouTube channel in the description below you guys should definitely check him out he's actually uh, starting a, a lithium solar system as well he's just switching over from lead acid to lithium you guys should definitely go check him out so I just ran to 20 and a half volts and then the beeper turned on and I forgot that these things have those beepers I'm gonna take this apart and squish it and rip it out I just don't like beepers and these things. I like to let, let them just die in the middle of the night while I'm sleeping. So, everything worked really good. I'm really happy with it. And we are charging it back up at 3.8 amps. It actually, the voltage was sagging through the wires and whatnot. It was probably a lot closer to 21.5 volts. So, there's still quite a bit of usable power left in this thing. Thanks for watching.